Well, hello, and welcome to IamJoshKnox.com. I'm your host. That's right, I am Josh Knox. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the data migration workspace in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. I'm doing something with fixed assets, um, and I just want to show you how to make a quick export project to export those fixed assets. Uh, so to start with the data management workspace, I'm here on the default dashboard. I'm going to click into the data management workspace. I'd like to, what I want to do right now is I'm trying to export fixed assets. Fixed, as, fixed assets in Dynamics have two entities. They have the fixed asset entity and they have a fixed asset book entity. And so I'm going to try and extract both of those. Uh, so first I need to create an export project. So I'll click on export here. We'll say fixed assets. The name is important. Xor, no X. And the description is less important. Right, the key being that this is an export package. I'm going to try and take the data that's in this uh, environment right now and extract it into some flat Excel files that I can then, um, you know, use to give me an idea of, of the structure and how I want to import that back into Dynamics. So. I've created my export group, that's this, this header portion. And then I've got to create, choose the entities that I want to be a part of my, my export package. So I'll click Add Entity. Fixed. And I want fixed assets. Come on. Let's move my head over here. Woohoo, I'm over here. We've got fixed asset um, where is it where's the, the fixed assets version 2 entity is the one that I'm looking for and I would like that in Excel so we'll add that so we we get an error this is just a warning about some special conditions on the field. You can see that the fixed assets version two entity has been added to my uh, to my my export project here. Now I'd like to add. I'd like to get that fixed asset book value as well. And we saw it last time we hit here. So let's go to fixed asset book version two. We'll take that. And I, I've scrolled down, the add button can get hidden. So I just did a little scroll down, you can see add. So now we have the entity and we have the, the fixed asset book and they're together like that. Um, so now all I have to do is click export. Dynamics is going to use those two entities that we're looking at. It's going to search the data, bring them all together. And because I ran this in a batch, it is scheduled it as a batch. Uh, if, if I hadn't exported it in a batch, I can export it now because I'm inpatient and that will do it faster. Maybe. If you have lots of data, you probably really want to do this in a batch. You can see it's taking me to this screen. I have uh, you know, we've gotten this check mark. That means that the export has completed successfully. We can see that it successfully exported the fixed assets. We've successfully exported the fixed asset book entity as well. And I can either I can view this staging data. That'll show us nothing here. That's not good. We'll we'll cut that part out. So we are here, we can see that our export has successfully exported. We can see that each of these entities have successfully exported. And I can download at the entity level. So if I download here, uh, I'm going to download the, this entity itself as a flat file into you know, my downloads folder. And so if I bring my downloads folder over, right, you can see that, that the entities are there, or I have the ability to download a package, right? And the package is basically a zip file that's going to contain both of these legal entities in a consolidated place. So you can see 
the zip file is downloaded. And you can see inside the zip file, I have the two entities that I was looking for. And then there are also these, these XML files inside that zip file. And what, what happens is if, if I want to load this back into to Dynamics, I can load the entire package. Dynamics looks at these XML files, the, the header and the manifest, and it says, oh, you know, these are the entities you're trying to use. And it understands uh, what entities and what mappings we're using. Uh, as we try and upload those uh, these files into the the dynamics entities so that was just a quick demonstration of the data immigration workspace how to create a uh, export project how to add entities into that export project and then how to run that export to get the data from the data entities out of dynamics um, you know perhaps to to use as a sample template for importing more data later uh, or just to, to look at the data in a flat file sort of way. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, like and subscribe. Do all the YouTube things. Visit me at IamJoshKnox.com. Uh, looking forward to any comments or questions or anything else you have. And take care.